now she's enjoying this. Look at her. It's uh, day 10 of our trip around the world. We are in Tallinn, Estonia. We gotta do laundry today. It's a laundry day. A lot of laundry. But first, breakfast. Good morning. <laughs> So it was actually a great thing that the uh, hotel we were supposed to stay in was closed and changed us to here because one, we didn't have a window in that room, I don't think. And we have three big windows out onto the streets of Old Town here. And two, this place included a nice big breakfast buffet for free, which I'm pretty sure the other place didn't. So we got free breakfast and it was really nice. And now we are full and we don't have to spend uh, 20 bucks on a big first meal for us. So yeah, big plus. Nice, good start to the day. We are heading to do our laundry right now. It's like a uh, one kilometer walk from our hotel, but we get a nice walk through the old town and uh, the weather today is perfect. Hopefully we don't get rained on coming back. But we got our umbrellas just in case. Uh oh. We might have some legal stuff here. Could get lazy for a couple days. <laughs> this has got to be one of the older McDonald's in terms of just like the building it's in. So we'll check that out later. Don't you worry. And it's right across from this very adorable little castle. Might have to take a carriage ride somewhere. Hannah would love that. For me, I could do without. I know how stinky it is going behind a horse sometimes. She gets really excited by horses, so. I think she's gonna enjoy petting one. I don't think she's ever pet a horse before. I know she's enjoying this. Look at her face. They actually give you time to cross the street here. It's amazing. You can go at your own pace. Copenhagen was like a game of red light, green light. You just start, and then I was like, red light! <laughs> and you get hit. So you can see the stark contrast from the old town. Once we get out of there, it looks like a normal modern city that you, know, you wouldn't even know we're five minutes from where we were staying. All the buildings look pretty new, high rises, everything like that. Two very different areas. I love this G-Wagon in this color. It reminds me of the, uh, the Jeeps from Jurassic Park, but like the upgrade version. Badass. We're told the laundry place closes at 8 and uh, we get here and the lady tells us it closes at 4. It's 2.30 right now so she will not let us do laundry. We walked all the way here and she's telling us no so we have to come all the way back here tomorrow to do it. And now it is pouring rain and we're stuck under an overhang right outside the laundry place. Wonderful. Wonderful. Worked out very well. Uh, what are you gonna do? You know what time it is? Let's see. Food time. <laughs> We're going to two different restaurants right now. Ooh. Yeah. One for a traditional Uzbeki meal, which I don't know anything about food from Uzbekistan but it sounds interesting. And then after, we're gonna go to a traditional, well, it's probably non-traditional, a Taiwanese restaurant to get some wapao. Wapao, Yeah, I know she'd be excited about this. Sherpa, 
which is an Uzbeki soup. It's got beef and vegetables inside. And then we have Uzbek manti, which is an Uzbeki oil dumpling. So very excited. The presentation is beautiful. We got beef, we got potatoes, looks like peppers, maybe cilantro or dill on top. Looks really nice. Clear broth, light. We got a salsa over here and uh, maybe like a sour cream. So we're gonna start with the Sherpa, which is the Uzbeki soup. I'm just gonna try the broth first. Tastes dill. Oh, it's got a lot of flavor in the broth. Really nice. You can taste the vegetables. You know, I want to bite with everything. I'm gonna get a full bite. Give me a minute. Okay. All right. Pepper. Right, here we go. We got a big bite of all the all the stuff. Tastes really homemade, which is nice. Delicious soup. Mm. We might have to go to Uzbekistan after this. Very fresh. What kind of leaves they put on the soup? No I don't know, I think it's dill. I'm not sure. To add the flavor even better. Now we've got the Uzbek mom tea. We're gonna see what's inside of this. I think it's like pumpkin and lamb. So we got the meat inside, some veggies. I'm gonna try this sauce first. Oh, that's really good. It's got a nice kick to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on top. A nice portion of sour cream. And we're gonna go for a nice big bite right here. Considering uh, she comes from Taiwan, which is, you know, we'll known for their dumplings. Yeah. But this is definitely different. I I'm telling you, put a little bit of that. One by without sauce. I didn't try any without the sauce. I'm just trying without sauce. It's good. Heavy pepper. And now I got to put the spicy sauce on it. Oh, she put a lot on it. Is, is that too much? No, it's fine. Put some cream in there to cut okay. it. Oh, look at that. I think it's a thicker dumpling skin. So like Europe, slightly bigger. Yeah, slightly Europe has bigger. many of their own kinds of dumplings. And I like it's a lot of pepper in the in the meat. Yeah. And onions. But this sauce itself is just so rich. It's really spicy though. So if you don't if you don't eat spicy, you wanna avoid that. Okay, so I didn't think it was too spicy. Um, her spice tolerance is not quite as high. She still likes spicy it's food. Like, it's like salsa, but like very spicy. Yeah. These traditional lamb dumplings are to die for. Al Dijama Tur, established 1993. They've got lots of fresh produce in here, like a local farmer's market. Um, and then they have all these really cute restaurants in these small kind of container style setups with different types of cuisine and honestly after trying that first one I kind of want to try them all. People said this place was good online but oh my god I was blown away. <laughs> I know. It was really good and we I mean yeah. I've been living in a place where I eat dumplings every single week for the last seven years and these crushed it Woo! like they were really good. It's almost enough to convince me just to go to Uzbekistan on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> food was amazing. It's Check great. this place out. We're feeling a little full right now, but we're still gonna go get a guabao. We came all the way here. We gotta try them. We're going back to that place tomorrow. I'm going back. This is so damn cute. Hey, Ma. I just pooed. Shisha. Some interesting Estonian facts. Skype was invented here. A nation so small, everyone knows everyone. Well, almost. First nation per capita by a number of top models. 
Estonians love black bread and black humor. Okay, so they're a little racist here. Almost 50% of Estonia is covered with forest. Hannah thought that, that was a vagina. <laughs> I was confused. And I see how she could see that because it looks like it. <laughs> what do you think? Vagina or wine glass? I mean, even with the wine, I still don't know. I just saw it as I was going down the escalator. No, now I have to go back around. Ah, uh, don't, 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 don't. The waiting game. Yeah. Back up. Uh, I'll jam. So it's uh, Gua Bao time. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have a European spin on it. What do you think it's gonna be like? I don't know. I think it'll be like some kind of like Asian, Western culture fusion kind of style. Do you think it'll be good? Uh -huh. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so you get two pictures. Yeah, we had one of these in Oslo. It was actually really good. So another one. This is the crispy chicken guabao with spring onions on top. Ow jam. You ready to get in my tummy? I know you are. She's gonna be the tester because she's Taiwanese and this is a Taiwanese food. The bao feels right. Here we go. Oh, it's really hot. You know what? They uh, they didn't have any chicken ready, so they actually just made it fresh for us. So it's probably right out of the fryer with the chicken. Yeah, she might burn herself. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's definitely a totally different style. It's like chicken wings in guava. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Yeah. So I think they put the mayo on the bun, on the bun. Some of that creaminess in the bottom. Mmm. This mayo and kimchi on the bun. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. All right, so we got the crispy chicken bao with spring onions, kimchi, and chili mayo. This is actually really good. They, you're right, they did get the texture of the bow correct. Nice and bouncy. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a really nice take on a bow. Wow, bow. Took a took a cheat way. Wow, bow. Mm. I'm not putting this down. Love to this guava over here. A little dunk. Here comes. Ate it fast. New sip. Nice minty orange iced tea. Last bite. The two bows were eight fifty, and I believe the iced tea was two fifty. Not cheap, but not expensive. How cute these little sriracha bottles are. Almost as cute as this one. <laughs> not quite. Though. Today might have been unsuccessful in terms of uh, weather and being able to do our laundry, but food-wise, great success. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, I might even come back to that same restaurant tomorrow. They have a small menu, so it's possible to try the rest of it. Anyway, we're walking back now. It's really cooled down after the rain. Yeah, it does feel good. Damn it, just stepped in a puddle. 
So we're back in our room and I think we're going to use the rest of the evening or at least most of it to get some of the video editing done because we've been falling behind. There's just so many videos and uh, I'm a super slow editor since I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be my evening. The weather's not super nice out and it's supposed to rain more. That's, uh, that's the plan. If I don't see you again, have a good night and uh, catch you tomorrow. Good night. Thanks for watching everyone.